Cookman post game with head coach Ryan Ritter. The Wildcats drop a heartbreaker tonight, 86 to 80 to North Carolina A and T. Fall to 17 and 13 in overall, 4, 11 and 4 in the MEAC. Um, coach, a, a tough one for the Wildcats to come out in the short end tonight. Your opening statement. <clears throat> Just feel for our guys right now. Uh, had a group of guys that have worked really hard and uh, you know wanted to, wanted to come with conference championship on our home floor. Um, and we just, we just didn't get it done tonight. So um, feel for those guys. Uh, you know, give give A and T credit. Tough team scores the ball inside, and and they did a great job on the offensive glass. It was 16 to four. Um, kind of a difference right there. And um, you know, had 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 a tough night. Didn't shoot the ball well. Had some foul trouble, and um, playing against one of the best teams in the league. Uh, feel for our guys, and I know we're going to strap it up tomorrow. And we're going to find a way to come come Thursday and, and uh, hopefully get a share of that, that championship. Coach, what do you say to the locker room after a game like that? I mean, a lot of emotions back and forth all night. That crowd, what was on the line? What do you say to a locker room like that? I think you got to be honest with them. Um, you know, you got you, you, you feel for them. Uh, you know, you got 18 to 22 year old kids that just played their heart out. And, um, you know, I think the, the, the biggest thing for us is you can't hang your head because we got an opportunity Thursday to, to <coughs> get you know a regular season conference championship, and uh, so it's it's our job as the staff to regroup and uh, pick these dudes up, but but know they're hurting, and um, you know come tomorrow with a great game plan for FAMU. You mentioned the second chance points, and uh, that was actually I think in the first half at one point it was 11 or 12 nothing. Where did you attribute to that? Was that I mean. Obviously, Sean Trez getting in foul trouble that early in the first half was it was, it was a big difference. Was that you know part of the problem? Yeah, I mean, we, we, Zach, we've talked about it multiple times. Is is when Sean Trez Davis is on the floor, we're we're a significantly better basketball team. And uh, tonight, you know, he, he picks up two early fouls, and he picks up a third one. And um, you know, we just didn't do a good enough job as a staff adjusting to. Uh, to, to keep those two forwards off the glass. Now McGowan's and and uh, and, and Femi uh, are as good as uh, front quarters we have in our league. So give those dudes credits, man. Those, those dudes are warriors. Uh, they're tough inside, and and uh, they did a great job of exploiting us. You guys uh, at one point in the second half got down, I think, seventy to fifty nine. About midway through, you go on a big run, get it to within three, and then you kind of go back and forth. At one point, you got it to eighty two eighty. Uh, just the resolve of the team after getting down by eleven to to make that run there at the end. Yeah, I mean, we got tough kids um, that, that uh, are going to give us everything we got. And um, so I wasn't surprised that we were able to make a run at them. Um, we just ultimately kind of fell short. Uh, I think some guys got gas. It's a physical game out there. And, and uh, so I give A&T credit. That's a, that's a great ball club coming in here. The parity in the MEAC. I mean, I think at the, now with, with you guys losing, us five teams with 11 wins in the MEAC. I mean, that, that kind of parity, that, that's got to keep you on your toes every night. Uh, you said it. There's five teams with one game left potentially that have a chance to win a championship. Um, so that's there's just a lot of good teams. You know, it's hard to win games at this level, and um, you know this speaks to our league of, of how good any you know anybody can win on any night. I asked Vanessa this earlier. Obviously, you don't want to lose a game like this, but is there any positives you can take out with that kind of atmosphere? Uh, is, is, can you take any positives from that? You know, loss or no loss? Yeah, I think we definitely have to take positives from it. Um, you know, and, and obviously we've been playing very good basketball for the last month or so. And, um, you know, for us, I think tonight we were a little tight in the first half. I think the pressure got to us a little bit. And, and um, you know, we didn't we didn't have that uh, confidence early on that sometimes we, we have at home. So um, I think, you know, for us to feel that pressure for the first time uh, under the lights, with, with something on the line, I, it's great because now we get a chance to experience it again Thursday, and then you know when 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 the conference tournament comes, that'll that'll be already the second or third time that we've played with pressure on our backs where we got to win.